um, as you let go of old stories and old beliefs and old pressure and old uh, thoughts and uh, ego identity aspects, you are making space for light. And the more light you can have within your being, the more you are making space for that higher self to basically uh, embody you. And so you are waiting to birth your Christ. Uh, you will have your own birth experience with this. It will be as if you are giving birth from your brain and it can be uncomfortable at times, but we will say that when that time comes it will be the logical next step there will be no path it will be the path of least resistance and it will be a blissful uh, monumental experience that will somehow work with your human brain as if your human brain was not uh, in shock over such a miracle it will feel completely natural as we understand that there are things that go behind the scenes with the physical body to get the body to adapt to the new scene without a seamless uh, edit and what is happening on the other side would, would probably surprise you as it's just an energy conversion but on the stage of earth or the world that you are participating in it could be uh, quite devastating to see how it all unfolds because um, as your life would know it it would seem as if you died but you don't you're not going to die you're going to live for the very first time you've actually not been alive you've been half dead your entire life and you have been and hungry and alone and waiting and striving and suffering and and this is all of you this isn't you in particular this is just the struggle and so when you awaken to your Christ itself you will be all alive and therefore you will look like you are some sort of superhuman being because you no longer associate believe in or participate in any sort of lack so everything you touch will immediately turn into abundance and life and grace and and love and connection every word that comes out of your mouth will melt the hearts of those around you and so you have much to look forward to we, we are very excited for your expansion and as the channel was mentioning the the game that we have created has been based in uh, the obvious uh, loopholes that have been uh, working we have been working on behind the scenes for what feels like thousands of years uh, as you know uh, myself Saint Germain I have a uh, reputation of being the alchemist and and what an alchemist is 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 someone who will turn anything negative into something positive pain into power light uh, dark into light uh, lead into gold and so this is the game the game is to convert energy into that which you desire regardless of what you are seeing regardless of what you are hearing so Christ is not an individual he is uh, the uh, the aspect of of the child that is awaiting to be born within you and you will birth this through what knows better as a child your own inner child your inner child will work uh, very uh, diligently over the next seven days until our last uh, session here in this uh, this concept that we have uh, offered the channel to uh, organize and we are very excited about how successful it already has been for you as your ascension should be uh, easy as it is your natural state although you have practiced it the opposite it is not uh, it is becoming boring it is becoming um, a waste of your energy we can see and and, and this is how how you all get but the more that you are uh, weighted down by these last uh, petty egoic moments of distraction uh, we see that it's easy to feed into that because as you get closer to God and yet ego still is there it uh, it causes you to believe that you are doing something wrong one moment and uh, we saw this happen with the channel, therefore we stepped in and said, uh, this is just going to be until the last day you, you choose. And as you begin to use your ether properly and you begin to uh, manifest in your fourth dimensional womb properly, this will not be an issue anymore, but you cannot be double-minded and cross the path. 
You cannot cross the finish line and be double-minded. The double-mindedness is when you are believing and faithful to your higher expression, and yet you are also believing in lack. You cannot have these two beliefs in your physical body and cross the threshold. You will need to be free from lack. You will need to be free from uh, any pain associated with lack in the physical body. So prosperity for us is is almost like the opposite of your scarcity. So scarcity is where everything is scary and everything is in scarcity. Well, in prosper city, everything is prosperous. Everyone is prosperous. Uh, money is flowing. Uh, you cannot keep it full. You cannot uh, ever. Uh, there is just too much and this is good because when you have much creative energy as far as gifting the planet you will need to have every resource you will need to have every option you do not want to just uh, have the freedom you want uh, more than is uh, needed so that you can put together the true art piece of your world and your life and so prosperity seems to fit uh, your energy signature and also what you've been working for the last few lifetimes uh, with not a lot of success until now we're going to kind of utilize the aspects of your reality to hold on to prosperity and make prosperity the only thing that we see everywhere. This will uh, really trigger your ego as your ego is constantly looking for where you are running out, where you are low, where you do not have enough. So your ego's entire focus is on lack of prosperity. Now your higher self is standing in a radiant space of prosperity. And so as the inner child gets her coordinates, to look for prosperity she will begin to search for it as if it was an easter egg hunt everywhere all day throughout the day she will speak it she will see it she will observe it she will acknowledge it she will create it she will demonstrate it she will feel it she will express it she will uh, uh, allow it and then this way she will be able to stay in a state where she is looking for the idea of prosperity everywhere that she is now ego will see the same thing and see lack and so you can see in the mind of a child the child will see the bounty they will see the bliss they will see the potential they will see the opportunities and the ego says everything is fine but this one thing is not and therefore my life is not good because this one thing is not in order and it steals your joy and once your joy is stolen you are in a bit you have an inability to really shine as joy is your natural state of your expression and your energy inner child. Your higher self's natural expression is peace. Your inner child is joy. Uh, and together it is a celebration when they come together. So they will be like two heat-seeking missiles that will be in contact with each other as soon as you set the inner child free. Now many of you in your spiritual journey uh, lock away your inner child because there is no time to play. Especially when you feel guilt and shame about not being able to allow your own children to do certain things you say well why should I be able to do something that my own children cannot do and therefore you carry a weight and if you would all just unleash your inner child uh, this would be a game over because your inner child is not judging your inner child does not feel uh, that you are a failure because of lack your inner child does not have the guilt and shame uh, programs from uh, making a mistake an inner child sees a mistake as an opportunity to learn how to be better as if I, I want to walk, but I don't know how to walk, so I'm going to fall down many times until my legs know what to do, but I do not say I am a failure. And so you see that at this stage of the journey, you get closer to Christ, you're going to feel more guilty. You're going to feel more shame because you're realizing the divinity and the love that is going to come through this energy is going to rock you off of your so-called spiritual pedestal and allow you to see that you have always been worth Worthy. And yet your ego has been working behind your back, making a pile and a list of all the reasons why you won't reach God. And as long as you are focused on lack, you will never reach this finish line. And you could study every day. You could watch shows every day. You could be on social media uh, looking at different creators every day and you will not reach there as long as you are double minded. And so prosperity might require a few definition searches, especially back to origin or back to Latin or Greek um, and looking at all of the different uh, 
beginning stages of prosperity. The way that we see prosperity is a healthy tree, a healthy fruit tree that will fruit for the rest of its life. It will always fruit. So when we see prosperity, we see that you are fruit, that you are fruiting. That means that you are creating. And therefore, in order for you to create, you would need to have an abundance of sun and water and all of those beautiful things that that tree would require. Although ego has made you feel that you have never been prosperous, that's all you've ever been. Because you continue to show up, you continue to give, you continue to uh, work on your own uh, self. That's prosperity at in its core. So your ego has been playing you, my dear. And all you're waiting for necessarily is for the double-mindedness to go away and the rest will arrive. Because the things that you have focused on within your own being have not been double-minded and therefore those are the things that are in prosperity if you if you can pay attention to that see a creator does not care um, if you do not have the money if you are being prosperity then you are being your spirit and everything that is included in prosperity will be given to you so you might be waiting on a couple of areas and, and, and but you are prosperity so as long as you continue to be that which you are you will only increase your ability to uh, hold space for not only the light of your higher self, but hold space for the life that you are building in the fourth dimension. So whatever you appreciate, appreciate, as this is a financial term, you are multiplying. This is the story of the 5,000. This is when uh, Christ looked at how many people he needed to feed, and so he appreciated that, and therefore there was more than was enough, and this will be you as well. What you need will be there before you need it, uh, before you ask. Um, it's yours before you call. This answered, and so prosperity is your birthright. It is as normal as you speaking um, your your own intellectual language and so when you do not have prosperity it puts you into a deep uh, feeling of grief because you cannot access that which you are and so as you begin to practice the opposite which is your true nature you will start to see that first you will feel joy and peace and then you will start manifesting uh, prosperity through very uh, interesting ways this is going to put you into a state where you can go full throttle with your faith and you can let go of lack completely you can uh, give your burdens um, over to the creator we would say any any burden that is in prosperity give it to your creator give it to your higher self as she has a prosperity plan for it um, we do not want you carrying the burdens of your prosperity of the past of of the things that are basically growing and growing and coming after you year after year see that is also prosperity but we are not looking at that so if that does come up that will scare your inner child and so we recommend that you give that a what you give that to the creator you give that to your higher self and then you can say now i'm free to expand in joyful prosperity again because if I see anything else that is not prosperity, then I am creating a lower uh, vibration for myself and I am creating uh, this beautiful ether that is spirit in the form of lack. And we do not need any more of these children that are walking around in lack, surprising you with lack. And you have had enough of that, all of you have, but it is your creation. We would like for you to say, thank you, creator, because then what you are saying to creator is that all of your funds will come from him as he is your provider. And we want you to lean heavily on source for all of your needs and all of your wants. If you have pain in your body, turn it over. If you have uh, negative thoughts, turn it over. We do not want the prosperity of the negative scenario thinking moving into your uh, body and aching your whole system. Your nervous system has been through a lot these last, I would say, 10 years. And, uh, and you were holding on very tight before then. So as your nervous system begins to unwind, we would like for you to take time in prosperity as well. The prosperity of time. Work on letting go of the rush, uh, having to complete things so quickly. Stop and smell the roses. Uh, notice how things grow. This will remind you of who you are. As you become more of yourself, you are expanding, and this is what you are looking forward to. You might be uh, looking at a, a bill that you cannot pay. You will find a way to make that joyfully prosperity in some way. Now, again, that might be more of a trick, 
for your inner child, but she will say, I know, let's just put prosperity into our bank account and bless it. And then the father will see that and he will pay this bill. You see, so she has the solution that your ego does not. Your ego will say, we don't have this money. And you will say, well, I'm going to take the prosperity of time and I'm going to play the blessing game. I'm going to bless all of my accounts with prosperity. I'm going to bless my debt with prosperity. I'm going to bless my body with prosperity. I'm going to bless my mind with prosperity of, so that I have lots of prosperity ideas. I am going to give my higher self full permission to access my mind and download information for me as she is in prosperity. Uh, I am going to give my birth burden of prosperity away to the higher expression you see so she will find a way she will say she will say a loving way it will be loving it will be a win-win because children are not about hurting I'm not going to steal someone's money to pay a bill I will just create it I will just create money and I will pretend that I'm not just paying this bill but I'm going to pay this bill for a year how would that feel that would feel amazing it doesn't have to be true we're not looking for a prosperity that is physically true um, if we were this game would not work but we we are not creating creators in that way. We don't create based on truth. We have to understand that everything you see in the material world has only just been a thought. So nothing is nothing is real unless it is imagined. And so if you do not like the material 3D prints that you have around you of your past thinking, then you've got to change the way you think. And you want to smile. So I want you to do something for me. I want you to think about your I am, I am prosperity. And then I want you to think about it again, but I want you to smile when you do it. And I want you to see how different that feels in your body. When you smile, you activate your sacral chakra. You lift it up. It got happy just by a smile. So when you smile in your affirmations, you're actually working as above is below. The mouth and the, the uterus are, are um, uh, a mirror. And so there's a lot of potential and power. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to be joyful. Don't forget to uh, make up uh, brilliance and abundance where it does not exist because the child can see. See, the thing is, is your child knows what you have in heaven. And so she sees this bill and you say, help me make this prosperity and she will say i have an idea and she will give you an idea and it's an idea because she knows who you are and in your higher expression because she is the child of the creator and so she remembers that it was just as easy as well let's ask our father energy or let's uh let's use our father creative energy to make this 10 times so we don't ever have to look for this bill again i would like the prosperity of not having these bills you see you can go in any direction now, if this bill is pulling on you and ego is demanding your attention, then you would give it a little bit of time. You would turn the burden over and then you would uh, command that this uh, that you are denying lack. I, I no longer associate with lack. I deny, I, rebu I rebuke all things that are in lack because I am an abundant spirit. Nature is in a constant state of abundance and I deserve no less. And so you're, you're almost just taking your power back and putting ego into its place. Uh, uh, and you will see that within just a few days, the vibration of just playing in this concept will begin to problems will begin to disappear. Uh, things will be solved by, by other means because you're focused on prosperity and joy and, and life and expansion. You will begin to lighten up. And that is the whole idea of the game is as you begin to lighten up, well, now you're becoming a match to your higher expression. And so your inner child is the only one that can get you through the threshold. And this is why our scripture talks about uh, the children will inherit the earth because the inner child is the only one that can uh, get through these darkest, darkest days. This is where Jesus said there is more to life um, than just uh, uh, than just bread, right? And so we are saying that the magic of the inner child is going to create the rest of the ether expansion that will be required for you to be a vibrational match to your creator self.